Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matt Wilson, QTE Manufacturing. We are doing part four of our series. This is gonna be where we measure with the CMM. We're gonna come over here and press play. Same thing as with the arm. Play, would you like to begin CMM operations? Okay. And we set these first three points up to be manual points. So they are not going to, it's not gonna move the CMM until we start moving it manually. So we got the part thrown up on here. We put it at a pretty big angle, so it doesn't really matter how you put it on there when you got three points. I'm gonna come down here and pick these up. I did a quarter inch search and a, pr a pretty decent amount of a approach on these on my on my automatic targets. So it doesn't matter if we um, aren't quite perfect on our alignment right now. As long as we get it within an eighth inch or so, we should be fine. Then from here, I'm gonna take this point. It's gonna automatically take off and measure the rest of them. It basically uses those three points and calculates it as three perfect measurements and it aligns it for X, Y, and Z. And then from there, it, does, it continues doing the alignment and it'll do a final alignment after it gets all seven. Okay. So from there, it's good. We'll accept it. And if this is a first time run, you need to make sure you're careful and slow down the speed of the machine because you don't want it taking off when you're not sure what it's gonna do. So I ran this program before, so I have it at full speed right now. And then as you can see, when it's going in these holes, it is going straight in there, right down the center of the hole. And then it's just flicking. That way it measures a lot quicker because there's no CMM movement. It's all movement of the PH20 head. There is an option inside of Verisurf where you can do a simulation and you can turn on collision so that you'll catch any mistakes there. It's a pretty nice option. You can put a clearance around the tip so if it gets within a certain distance of the tip, it'll throw a red alarm and it'll stop the program and you can add go-to points if needed. A go-to point is basically a clearance point so instead of it crashing through the part, it'll go to a certain distance or a certain point that you can type in so that it clears. Here it's going to do the sphere and then it's going to do the lines for our distance. You can change all these measurements. We could have made it 12 shots. We could have made it five shots. And the nice thing about this also is if we stop it, if I was to stop it right here, I could go and change my settings for let's say the lines, and then I could come back and just jump right back into the program and run the lines with the edits made. It does not lose its position once that alignment is accepted. You measure the lines for the angle. Then it's measuring the surface. I did a little bit bigger of a distance on this, so it does its flicks a little bit bigger because it has a negative contour on the surface. So I wanted to make sure the shank did not hit. So from here, all we need to do is press show report and we're done. And like I said, in the next episode, I will show exactly how we can make this all automatic. I'll show what we have to change for that. 
But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, you can always reach us out at qtemfg.com under support. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.